Let's talk about how we can use the properties of special right triangles to solve real-world problems. In our previous video, we learned about 45-45-90 triangles, whose side lengths come in the ratio of 1, 1 square root of 2, and 30-60-90 triangles, whose side lengths come in the ratio 1 square root of 3, 2. We can use these proportions to help us calculate exact side lengths in triangles that have either 30 and 60 degree angles or 45 and 45 degree angles. For example, we could calculate the exact perimeter of this rectangle using the properties of 30, 60, 90 triangles. The perimeter of any figure is the distance around the shape, but I don't know any of the side lengths of this rectangle, I only know the length of its diagonal. But since the diagonal divided the rectangle into two 30, 60, 90 triangles, I can use the proportion of 1 square root of 3 and 2 to calculate the missing side lengths. 1 is for the length of the short leg, which is either QD or UA, depending on which triangle you're looking at. Remember that the short leg is always the one that is across the triangle from the smaller angle, the 30 degree angle. The square root of 3 is for the long leg, which is either QU or DA, depending on which triangle you're looking at. The long leg is always across from the 60 degree angle. And 2 is for the hypotenuse, which is the only thing that we actually know the length of. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, so the hypotenuse here is 8. So to find the length of QD, I can take 1 over QD, that's the ratio that has QD, and set it equal to 2 over 8, that's the ratio that is complete, that I know both the top and the bottom number. Cross multiply and solve, and we get a pretty little answer of QD equals 4, which means UA equals 4 as well. Now let's calculate the length of the other sides. So I'll take the other ratio, the square root of 3 over QU, and set it equal to the complete ratio 2 over 8. Cross multiply and solve, I get H root 3 equals 2 times QU, divide both sides by 2, and I find out that QU is 4 root 3, which means DA is also 4 root 3. So to calculate the perimeter, I need to add all four of these numbers together, because each of these four numbers represent one of the four side lengths of this rectangle. So 4 plus 4 is 8, but I can't add these 4s to these 4s, because these 4s have a radical with it, which means that these 4s are not a like term with the 4 root 3s. So I have two different parts in my answer. I'll have 8 from the 4 plus 4, and 8 root 3 from 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3. You can think about the root 3 almost like a variable, that you don't change the root 3 at all. It's still root 3 in the answer. You don't have root 6 or anything like that. It's just saying I've got 4 square roots of 3, and I add 4 more square roots of 3 to that, so I would have a total of 8 square roots of 3. So the total perimeter of this rectangle would be 8 plus 8 times the square root of 3 meters. Let's try an example that incorporates baseball. The infield of a baseball field is a square. The distance from home plate to first base is 90 feet. So what is the length from home plate to second base? Well, what does this have to do with 45, 45, 90 triangles? Well, it's said in the directions that the infield is a square, which means that this length right here from home to first, that's the same length from first to second. So that means that this is an isosceles triangle, which means that since these two sides are the same, these two angles are the same. And since the acute angles of a right triangle have to add up to 90, I can take 90 and divide it by 2 and figure out that both of these angles must measure 45 degrees. So I do indeed have a 45, 45, 90 triangle that I'm working with. X would be the hypotenuse of that 45, 45, 90 triangle, and 90 would be one of the legs. So I can write this proportion to figure out the length of the hypotenuse. 1 over 90, 1 is the length of the leg in the base proportion for solving 45, 45, 90 triangles, and 90 is the length of one of the legs in this triangle. Square root of 2 represents the hypotenuse in the base proportion for solving a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and x is the length of the hypotenuse in this diagram. So I'll just cross multiply and solve, and I find out that x equals 90 times the square root of 2, which if you're Yadier Molina probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you, instead we would probably want a decimal approximation. So let's just go ahead and round that to the nearest foot, that is what the directions say to do, 
Type that in your calculator 90 times the square root of 2, and we get that x, or the distance from home plate to second base, is approximately 127 feet. And that's all you need to know about special right triangles. In our next lesson, we're going to move on to using sine, cosine, and tangent, which are trigonometric ratios, to calculate side lengths and angle measures in right triangles.